needed to replace it. I've been wearing a hearing aid for about 10 or 11 years, and I made an appointment for here, and I thought it very strange. The first thing I had was cognitive screening, and I didn't make a connection between the cognitive connection of hearing loss with brain function. So I researched that, and I saw that that was like, it doesn't cause dementia, but it feeds into dementia because your brain has to work so hard to overcompensate for the hearing loss. And um, so my hearing improved with a hearing aid, but I feel so much better knowing that I'm helping the brain function. Because at age 72, I do know that I have a few memory problems, the AGE thing. Um, but it was very important that the doctor here explained to me the differences between not just improving my hearing, but keeping my memory as sharp as I possibly can. And the hearing aid is the first thing they recommend for that correction. Uh, the contentment of being able to hear, I have three granddaughters, they're all adults, and the conversation with them was very strained. I mean, it was extremely heartbreaking for me to try to, I lost so much time in conversation with them. And I didn't pick up the telephone a lot because I couldn't differentiate and understand what the conversation was about. And television. Television is very enjoyable. I don't have to blast everyone out, out of the room. I have the ability to control uh, if I need the volume adjusted in any way, and it's just very comfortable. The only thing I don't do with them is swim, bathe, and sleep. But other than that, they're in my ears.